whether you are cutting or bulking, my requirements are. What's up? Give me a hand with this. さっきは減量中寝る前の炭水化物なんて関係ない。見ていきましょう。今回は減量についてです。夜寝る前は炭水化物を取らない方がいいって聞いたことありますよね。実際はどうなのか、女性さんがわかりやすく説明してくれています。早速見ていきましょう。どうぞ。What's up, guys? Joseph Rackets here from josephrackersfitness.com, and today the question of the day it comes from my Instagram page. This question comes from Smith D Patel. His question is: Hi, sir. Sir, <laughs> he calls me sir. While cutting fat, can we intake rice or high carb at night before sleeping? So basically, what he is asking is: Can we consume a high carbohydrate meal at night before we go to sleep if fat loss is our goal? And the answer to that is yes, you can, as long as it fits within your daily calorie and macronutrient requirements. And what you need to understand and what you need to remember is the body actually works on a much larger time frame, a 24, 48, 72 total weekly daily net balance. So it all comes down to the calories that you consume over a longer period of time than what you actually think. Now, let's just say you're dieting and you need to be consuming less than 2,500 calories. If you're consuming less than 2,500 calories and you do have your carbohydrates at night before you go to sleep, because you are in a calorie deficit, you will still be losing body fat. But what I would recommend is if you are cutting, you're obviously low on calories and you are restricted on your carbohydrates. So it may make sense to base the majority. Of your carbohydrates around times where they're most used. For example, pre and post workout, and maybe first thing in the morning. But that is not to say you can't consume them at night before you go to bed. I do. It all depends on how many carbohydrates you have in your diet. And the timing of your macronutrients won't actually have a big effect on your body composition goals. The real thing that matters is the total calorie intake. And the total macronutrient breakdown of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Now, when it does come down to a macronutrient split, whether you are cutting or bulking, my requirements are at least consume one gram of protein per pound of your lean body weight. This is to maintain and build quality muscle. I then also advise to consume at least 0.4 grams of fat per pound of your lean body weight. Fat is important for brain function, hormone regulation, testosterone production. Which is important for building muscle and losing fat. Once your protein and fat requirements are met, I then advise to fill the remaining calories up with carbohydrates. Because protein and fat are essential and carbohydrates are non essential, that is why protein and fat take the first positions. But once those requirements are met, I then advise my clients to fill the remaining calories up with carbohydrates because they are a great source of energy. So once your protein and fat requirements are met, depending on your total calorie intake, Fill the remaining calories up with carbohydrates. And the timings that you choose to consume your carbohydrates won't matter on your body composition goals. So, I hope that answers your question. Thank you for watching the video. So, how was it? So, the calorie is not a limit. 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 So, the c a l o r i 炭水化物は体の中で最も早くエネルギーに変わりますただ体素性的にはタンパク質脂質よりは直接的な影響が少ないんですねなのでジョセフさんはタンパク質脂質を真っ先に固めてから残りのカロリーを炭水化物で埋めるということですねこの考え方を持っていると減量中の TFC バランスの作り方かなり楽になりそうですねみんなは何を基準に TFC バランス決めていますかコメント欄で教えてください僕は今まで先にタンパク質、炭水化物を決めていました。次の減量ではこのやり方で決めていこうと思います。最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございます。感想や動画のリクエスト、チャンネル登録お待ちしてます。ではまた。